uh, welcome to the Frontier Precision Tailgate Technology Series. I'm Scott Reeves, uh, Geospatial Sales Rep for the out of the Tigard office. Hello, Jared Price, uh, with the uh, out of the Tigard office here as well, Applied Geospatial Engineer. And we're going to go over a couple of things today on the new, uh, some of the key features, I should say, of the new Triple uh, X7 scanner. Uh, one of which that I thought was really interesting was the IP5 rating for water on this unit. That's the same as our robots, and it's better than any um, other scanner that I know of as far as being able to be out in uh, inclement weather. Yeah, so very similar. Well, it's the same water rating as our total station. Yeah. Essentially. So. Yeah. Uh, kind of moving on to a couple of the other features. Um, the, uh, the, the self-leveling. Uh, which is fantastic. Uh, it can compensate for uh, five degrees. So you can see right now, well, I can tell that the X7 is not level. So it will actually, um, as a self leveling routine, if it can't compute that, then of course it will tell you. And you can toggle this uh, on and off. Perspective uh, this is the kind of the called the, the field software uh, for data collection. Um, this is running on a, a T10 tablet. We can also um, collect directly. Well, we don't need to actually initiate uh, a scan with the perspective software. We can do that with uh, one button click on the X7 as well. A um, couple more things uh, as a an automatic calibration routine. So every time it, it initiates or starts a scan, it will actually do uh, its own calibration routine. Uh, which is, uh, I don't know of anyone else in the industry that, that, can, uh, that can do that. Uh, very, very uh, cool feature. Um, am I missing anything? Well, uh, the uh, high definition scan is one thing that I thought was really cool about it. The, the ability to scan to, to darker colors like black and have them show up in the scan. Right. Right, so and that's what we really want to focus on today. Uh, it has two different modes uh, for, its, for its scan, one being standard and one being a high sensitivity. Um, before I kind of go there, uh, we also have a, um, an automatic registration uh, routine. So as we're going along, um, it will combine the clouds for you uh, on the perspective software. And if it cannot compute that, then you can move the cloud around in here and try to re-register it again automatically. Uh, if you do not want to use the automatic registration, you can also do it uh, inside our Office Suite programs. So, anything else? Uh, none that I can think of. Now, it does work with TBC, is that correct? Is that part of the Office Suite that it does work with? Yes. So, we can use Terminal Business Center uh, or RowWorks. Uh, we can also export. Uh, files. So if we're good with our registration on here, uh, we can finalize an export to common formats directly from the respective software, uh, LAS, E57, uh, TTS, uh, I believe. So you can get those type of files directly uh, from the controller. So moving on to what we really want to focus on today, uh, the, the mode for your actual collection of your, your point cloud. Uh, again, we have standard, we have high sensitivity. Um, I've been, you know, in my, uh, getting close to 16 years here, uh, seen a lot of different methods for, for scanning a lot of different environments, whether it's, you know, inside a factory, uh, on a street, um, public safety, you know, uh, a weapon on the ground, uh, a, bl a black vehicle to scan. Um, all these situations uh, will really so if you know anything about scanning uh, dark surfaces and especially uh, a shiny dark surface seems to be the biggest um, uh, I guess kind of the Achilles heel uh, uh, of scanning so I've got my black truck here uh, we're actually going to do some, uh, some test scans in both uh, the standard mode and the high sensitivity mode so you can actually see the differences so I'm going to do four locations around uh, in each mode, and then I'm going to show you, I'll, I'll show you in perspective, um, and then I'll also show you uh, in the office suite. So uh, 
that's it for me. Do you have anything else? No, other than as uh, he has told me before that uh, for like uh, accident investigation with most scanners right now, if they need to do something black or dark, that they're covering it with baby powder just to get the scan in, which yeah, I thought was really interesting when I heard about yeah, that. Yeah. So not having to do that and having these, having seen what the, this can do with the, the shiny black surface is just amazing. Right, right. Along with many other um, amazing features, but uh, we're really going to focus on the the mode of the, the collection and, and compare those two. So uh, thank you very much. And uh, we're going to get going on the scans. Thank you. Thank you. OK, so we are uh, we're out in the front of our building here in Tiger, Oregon. Uh, this is where I'm going to take my test scans. Uh, my area of interest is going to be this black vehicle. Um, so we're going to do four different scans in standard mode. And then we're going to do essentially the same scans uh, in high sensitivity mode. Uh, so it's going to do its self calibration. It's going to uh, auto register. Hopefully, uh, it should. And um, yeah, so I will be back with you before the beginning of our uh, high sensitivity. Thank you. Okay, so we're back. Uh, so I did four scans in the standard mode. Uh, Let's see, four scans. I collected about 250 million points and it took about 17 uh, minutes total for all four scans. Uh, and that was with the, the photos. So moving on to the high sensitivity, um, our acquisition time is gonna be the same, but our number of points and our spacing is going to actually decrease. Because the high sensitivity mode, it takes more time and more power to collect the data. So if you think about um, two scans, one standard, one high sensitivity, you're gonna get about a third less points and you're gonna get a, uh, about half the, the density. So that's something um, you need to realize when you're doing these high sensitivity scans. They're gonna take longer and you're gonna collect less points, but the amount of detail that you're gonna get, especially on something uh, like a dark surface, uh, it's night and day difference. So uh, let's get started. I'm essentially going to do the four same, uh, approximately the four same uh, locations for the high sensitivity. Um, and they auto registered, no problem. I have plenty of overlap here. Um, they look great on here. So we are going to uh, get started. And then when I come back, we're actually going to be uh, inside the office. We're going to uh, cover. Uh, what the results look like in perspective, and then also um, look at uh, you know, inside one of our Trimble suites, either Trimble Business Center or Trimble Real, Work, Real Works. So, uh, once again, thank you, and I will be back with you uh, in the office. Okay, welcome uh, back from the field. Uh, I'm in the office. What we're looking at here uh, is just kind of a quick recap. Uh, of the standard mode um, and please uh, be aware that uh, you know we're looking at perspective here and these are screenshots from the t10 tablet the perspective software we're limited to uh, a million points per scan so it's only when you uh, export uh, in a very in, in a various format or uh, bring it into a uh, Trimble suite, either Trimble Business Center or Trimble Rowworks, where you can get uh, all the points available. Okay, now looking at the, the results from the standard mode scans, you see I did uh, four scans. Uh, what we're looking at here, uh, again, we're looking uh, just at perspective right now. Uh, I have this highlighted, uh, so the red is actually unmeasured points. So you can see anything that's red was not measured or a, a point cloud point was not created. So my area of interest was this black vehicle. Uh, and actually at the same time, you see in the black background there, a, uh, a Ford Expedition pulled up that was uh, black as well. And it was freshly washed. Um, didn't get very many points on that either. Okay, moving on to the high sensitivity mode. Uh, just kind of a, a quick recap here. You can see I am definitely in high sensitivity mode. 
Um, and uh, on perspective here on the, the map, uh, I pretty much gathered this, the same information, well, at least from the same locations, just in kind of a, a reverse order. Okay, moving on to the comparison between standard and high sensitivity. You can see uh, these top two uh, on the left would be standard, and on the right would be high sensitivity. You can see uh, I have a lot more red on the standard side. Uh, on the high sensitivity side, uh, a lot less red. So less red meaning there's more uh, points that were that were measured. And then kind of the same view on the bottom. On the left, we have the standard. And then on the right, we have the high sensitivity and pretty uh, outstanding uh, results. Um, it's pretty amazing what just a, you know, changing the, the mode of how it collects the data. Although you're capturing less data, it just, you, it just really depends on, on what your area of interest is. Okay, now I'm uh, inside RealWorks. I just imported uh, the two separate projects into RealWorks. Uh, what we're looking at here is the high sensitivity project. Just to give you a quick little overview of what this data set looks like. Um, I have done nothing to the data. Uh, it was all registered automatically in perspective. Um, I can look at the report for that. Uh, I'm not that interested in that right now. Um, I'm more interested in uh, looking at, let me pull up my scan explorer here. So this is uh, this is the scan explorer. Um, this is a just a, a tool inside RealWorks. Um, you can see this looks very similar to Perspective. Uh, again, we're looking at uh, the highlighting for unmeasured points, so red being um, not measured. Uh, this was the the standard mode, um, and then this was the high sensitivity mode. Um, and if you really start looking, you can look at some of these other features, these darker features that um, were measured in high sensitivity mode and um, did not get picked up uh, with the standard mode. Um, and this is what it looks like in, in true color. Uh, another thing I've noticed with the X7 uh, is the the clarity uh, of this uh, the camera. It's a very very nice series of cameras on this X7. Um, this type of true color is, uh, I haven't seen this in a while. So, thank you for joining us for this tailgate technology series from Frontier Precision. We hope to see you next time.